All right. I finished the other two holes off camera. So now, oh no, I forgot about this. This is gonna screw up the finish. No matter how much you sand these things. Eh, never fails. Well, I have to try to clean that up. It's sticky. Well, I'll work on this off off camera here. If I go slow, I might be able to get it off. I'll work on this off camera. Well, I got it off, but it's sticky as hell. Sticky as hell, so whatever goes on there is not going to take very good. Well, I can do that when I'm ready to sand it. I want to get this thing banged together here. And glued, nailed and glued and screwed and tattooed and all that stuff. Here comes the hairy part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get this to stand up. I got to get these pieces to... This is going on the... This is the wrong side. Now this goes this way. Goes this way. Nailed down like that. Um, I like to get something to hold this up. So let me figure some kind of a rig out here that I can make up that I can keep this on the vertical. Okay. What I am going to do, what is he going to do now, is we're going to clamp this. This is going to be a um, temporary mount so that I can um, so I can nail this down. Now, I could probably put something under here. Temporarily, I guess I could do this. It may not stay. Alright, so now what I want to do is to line this up. Now, here's my way of getting this lined up. if you can see that. But what I'm what I want to do to make sure I get this centered do a line do a line right here. Toot my wits about me. That's whatever wits I got left. I don't have very many. I used them up years ago. Okay. Alright. And now this is the bottom, it don't matter which shelf I pick for the bottom. So. It looks like I'm off a little bit on the drilling, because I want that nail to go in the dead center of that three-quarter plywood. Alright, what we're going to do now is to put a bead of glue on the edge here. Carpenter's wood glue and a light bead here, nothing heavy because we got two light coats makes one heavy coat. We don't want it running down into the side of the cabinet or onto the side of the cabinet. Now this is going to be the hairy part because once we touch this down that's the right height. Okay. 
once we touch it down here and we move it and we get glue on the face we're going to be in trouble Right, we're right on the line. And we did what I didn't want to do. I'm gonna get a little glue showing on the inside, but I've got corner molding to go in there. I caught around. Okay. damn thing fell over off cam uh, on camera so we had to edit that part out. I wasn't a happy camper. The damn uh, support on this end come flying out of there. It's when you gotta work like a Mickey Mouse. You gotta work like a damn Mickey Mouse, you know? Now we got to take this out and make sure we got the right dimensions here. Okay. We got to put that in here in my rig. And now we don't have to worry about it falling over because uh, it's nailed on this end. Now, now we got to do to lay a bead. Put it over here. Lay a bead here. A little bit much. here. Okay. All right. Now, here we got a here we got a center mark. This is the center of the wood. Okay, here we have a mark for each end of the wood. So we did two different kinds of markings here. So this line's got to hit the dead center of this plywood here. Otherwise the nails are going to come out through the other end. And I am not going to be a very happy camper. Now, are we flushed out here? No, we're flushed out at this end. So. Way off. Way off and getting glue on the inside. Damn it. Okay. Now. Can you imagine me doing this without the pre drill? I could have probably used two inches uh, nails on this. Now we're going to countersink these down a little bit too, so that'll be driven in a little bit more. this. Okay, so that's, that's the one side. Now this is the back. This is not even because of our cut. This will be the front. Oh, the 
uneven part will be the quarter inch luon will go in the back here. All right, so now, now that I got this, we're gonna make sure that the bench is clear, nothing's gonna dig into my plywood. And we'll work on this piece, which is going to have to be this way. So we got to mark this. This is our dead center here for this middle shelf. All right, and it's uh, end of the, this is the plywood. All right. So, I see, says the blind man to the deaf mute, that's the way we do it. So let me glue that up and nail that up. You've seen me do one. You don't need to watch the next. The damn videos are too long as they are. Okay, I had a little runoff here because of the uh, movement, so I took a wet rag and wiped it down. So this is the bottom, because you don't want the bottom plate to sit right on the floor. And this is the front. And the top is going to go, this is the top right here. I just put this off to the side. The top is 14 inches wide, purposely made that way. So, and the top is going to overhang the front by one half inch and one inch on each side. That's going to be the top. That's how it's going to be. His CPAP machine will sit up here or it could sit here. It'll fit either way because the thing is only like seven inches long or seven and a quarter inches long. It's not all that big. And he can put stuff here and here and there'll be a back on here. There will be a back on here and um, if he wants the CPAP machine here I could drill a hole for the wire for the power in the back of the quarter inch Luan that I'm going to put on. So the next step is to uh, mark, and I'm going to do it in very light pencil here on the face of this and drill like I did before and nail it in. Now I got some quarter round molding. All right, I bought six foot of this. I get 92 cents a foot. And that's going to go not. I don't think I'll put it here. I think I was going to reinforce the shelves at the bottom of the shelves inside. Probably didn't even need this, but I already bought it, so we're going to put it in there. We're going to glue it and use these inch and a half finish nails, which is what I've been using in here. So that'll give it a good, strong uh, support. Now, first thing we're going to do is this is the front. Everything's flushed out, so this is the front. We want the back to be flushed out. Because the Luan is going right on this. There's not going to be any overhang. And there'll be, a, like I say, a half inch overhang here. It can't be out too much because this mattress comes up about here and you, it needs to be low. But what he's got it on now is way down here, like on a. Um, a bucket just to hold it. But the, the, the CPAP machine, it's way down here, like 12 inches from the floor. It's, and it doesn't really look good. I want to make something that would look good in this in this room. So um, that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to uh, measure, center this. So we got one inch on each end. Center it. Mark for the nails glue it and nail it. All right, it's not perfect, no matter how careful I measure. So, it's a little difference. There's less here than here, but I had to split the difference here and here. So, because this is the front of the cabinet and you want the distance between here and here to be the same. So I, Got that, and we go over to here, and we're the same. And I double checked with a ruler, so we're we're okay now. We got the lines drawn on each side, 
and we got them centered as you can see the line on each side so now I got to drill down to this so I don't want to just glue it because I don't think it'll hold I don't really like to put nails down to the top you know on the side you don't notice it as much I got a lot of sanding and uh, you know uh, center punch and knock these down and I got to sand it get the stickiness off of here from this label so what I can do you know this old goat's brain is working all the time it may not be working good but it's working all the time is I can take this I can glue this in but then it's going to keep me from moving it around I can put a I was going to put the quarter, the quarter round in here anyways and nail that down at an angle the nails won't come through the top they're only um, inch and a half long and they're going to be on a 45 when I nail this in anyways in other words they'll be like this a nail in through here after I glue these in but I don't think so I think because if I nail on that and I don't wait for the glue to dry this thing's going to slide all over we'll put the nails in this is not a piece of furniture you know I never claimed to be a furniture builder okay so, it's the way it is. We got a half inch overhang here. We didn't like the nail on the top, but I can't depend on this on the glue here. And I like to get this done. We have to work and race with the weather because you know it could rain tomorrow and I won't be able to do anything more. So we kind of like have to do it that way. So. I got a lot of sanding to do and uh, wood filling to do. And what I'm going to do here on the top, on the inside, is I'm going to put that quarter round in there. That's what they call it, quarter round. I'm going to put a piece, cut a piece off, put it right here, and nail it in, and one here. And I might do it on the underneath of the shelves here and uh, might even put one here keep this thing together good you know so, that's what we'll do we're putting in the molding here and uh, flushing it out to the back and uh, the half inch overhang we want to make sure we just come even with the end of this side ply which is like we did this one and we're putting one finished nail in each each side and I'm not going to worry about countersink in the inside uh, unfortunately like I said I had to nail in the top didn't want to do that but that's the way it goes so what we're gonna do here is we got a pre-drill for our two nails that are going into the curvature part of this so the nails are going this way so when they go in, they're not going to come through the plywood top. So now, we cut these on a table saw because it gives a nice straight cut. And now what we got to do is uh, put a little, little bit of glue on there. We got to keep it light been putting it on a little too heavy here and it's running over don't want to go too heavy and 
it. We're flushed out here. And we're flushed out here. We get a, a nail. Hit that a little bit until we get the other side lined up to make sure it's okay. And that's flush. And that should be good. Okay. All right. Now I'll drive this. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now that takes care of the. Huh. Support. All right. What we're going to do now, this is the back. I marked it. This is the back because this is a um, little uneven right here. Right here. So the Luan goes over the top of this. The Luan will go right across, right up to here. I didn't think I could have brought this out a quarter of an inch this way. Uh, but it's an afterthought. I'm not going to worry about it. Like I say, it's not furniture. Um, we'll just put the low on right here and that's it. Alright, so we'll come back on the video in a minute here. Top is peened uh, countersunk. Um, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in on the bottom. On the bottom, I'm going to put in this quarter round in here. I'm not going to do it in here, on the middle shelf, just on the, on the bottom. So we're going to measure now, yeah, we'll do one at a time here. Get a nice even cut when you use a table saw. Now we'll get I got the two quarter rounds on the bottom. This is upside down now. And I got two quarter rounds on the top. Uh, I screwed up here and I started just pinning, starting to come through the top when I did this. So I banged this, I gotta pull this out. You know, oh, can't do a project without having to screw up somewhere along the line. But anyways, um, the next step after I pull this, is cutting up the luon. I got a piece of luon. This is 12 inches wide. I happen to have a piece of luon that's four foot long and almost four foot long and 12 inches wide. That would be perfect for the back here. Um, I could come up to here with the luon, but it wouldn't look right. So I'm just going to bring the luon right up to here. And of course, it's going to give a little. Uh, different texture to the top, but I'm not going to worry about it. Like I say, you know, this is not a piece of furniture you'd want to go out and uh, and buy. It's a it's a hillbilly nightstand. What do you want from me? <laughs> the one I got is about half inch too wide. So I got this piece of a luon here. It's got a good finish here. 
and it's not so good here. So this part will be towards the wall. This will be facing the inside of the cabinet. So what we have to do is cut about a half inch off of this thing. And we're going to do that right now. Oh, we're not even locked in here yet. Oh, man. I thought I was locked down. Good thing I didn't start it. Gotta cut the length now. But we're gonna have to freehand this because my uh, my crappy little short miter gauge will not work in there. So we're gonna have to freehand this. If I screw it up, this is at the bottom and the back anyways. I really don't wanna do that. As a matter of fact, I should be cutting this the other way, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I gotta freehand it because it, uh, let me try something here. I wonder if I can do it this way. This will have to be a work. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel comfortable working with it that way. It's so damn short. Ah. We'll freehand it. I've done it before. Go see if it fits. Perfect. I did good. Now, as you can probably see on the top of this, this is the way it's going to look. I'm not going to worry about that. So, as you're looking at the inside of this thing, it looks pretty decent in there. So, we're going to commence to put that on. And we're going to use glue and little brads. And when I have to work with the brads, a little tiny jobs, I use a needle nose pliers on them. We'll come back in a minute here if my battery holds out on the camera. I cranked you up a little bit here, folks, to get coming up in the world. You folks are coming up in the world, you don't realize it. I just cranked you up so you get a better view here. All right. So we're going to lay a small bead of glue all around the edge, edges of the plywood. All the way around, nothing, nothing too heavy. Nothing too thick.
just to keep it in place. Probably should be used a little more glue, maybe. But we don't want it to run. Make sure I close this down good. These things are very hard to open. These covers here on this thing. <clears throat> yeah, I need a pair of pliers to open them. They glue themselves into, into place here. Okay, now we get the good side. We're flush at the top. We're flush at the sides. And we got these tiny little brads, real, real tiny. They're only a half inch long. And we got to use a needle nose because we just can't work with these small things. And believe it or not, I bent these over too. So what we do here is we join. We uh, start with one in the middle here. This is an awful big hammer to be using. Hey, a big hammer to be using this, using on these things. Okay, now before we go too crazy here, we got to put one in the middle in the back. These are small, I tell you. Something went through the yard. It looked like a dog to me. Okay, the battery's getting low on the camera, uh, but this is the finished, rough finished product. Got the back nailed in with brads, looks good on the inside. I got a lot of sanding, I got a lot of nail holes to fill, and I got them all countersunk all the way around here. And I got a lot of sanding and smoothing, we're going to do that off camera. We're going to do all that off camera. Okay, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching. And um, there's no use showing the finished product because uh, I got other things that I got to do here. So it won't be for a few days before I'll be doing any uh, painting or staining or whatever I'm going to do on this. Most likely painting so I don't have to deal with the edges of the plywood. Thank you for watching. You have a good day.